Is the performance of your PC slow? If yes, then this is the video for you as I will be showing you simple settings. If you change them, you will notice a significant improvement in the performance of your PC. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Setting number one, delivery optimization setting. If you click on start over here on the bottom left hand corner, then go to settings and then over here click on update and security and then you go to delivery optimization. This setting should be turned off. If you notice, uh, if the setting is turned on, your PC will be used to upload content to other PCs on your network. I would recommend turning off the setting for a home user as your PC will not use to upload content to other PCs on your network. Did you know your PC has a best performance setting inbuilt within Windows 10? All you have to do is just click on start, click on settings. Once you're in the settings, go to system. Over here on the left hand side, click on power and sleep. And on the right hand corner over here, click on additional power settings. And over here, just select the high performance option and it's gonna improve the performance of your computer. Next setting is for best performance. So just click on start, click on settings, and over here click on system and on the left hand corner on the left menu click on about and over here on the right hand side click on advanced system settings and over here under advanced under the performance tab click on settings over here by default windows uh, will select the best option for our computer so we will change that to the best performance so select this option and I would also recommend to check these two options uh, smooth edges of screen font so that your fonts look nice and the other option that I would recommend is show thumbnails instead of icons and click on apply and click on ok the next one is disk cleanup so over here on the left hand side click on uh, the search box and type in disk cleanup and click on this option and by default it will select the c drive which is fine please click on ok and over here uh, click on clean up system files and after that click on ok again it will take some time to calculate uh, the file and once it has done calculating it will show you these options it will it has already selected all the unnecessary files that you don't need uh, so as you can see all the temporary files all the recycle bin files just click on ok and as you can see you can save on my computer i'm saving one gigabytes of free space so check on your computer you would be saving a quite a lot of space on your disk and just click on ok and it will give a give you a prompt click on delete files and this will start uh, deleting all the unnecessary files the next setting is for the maximum uh, processor uh, on your computer setting. Uh, so for this, in the search box over here on the left hand side, just type in system and con and it will give you a prompt over here on the top. Just select system configuration and over here just select boot and go to advanced options and over here uh, check Keep a check mark on this option and select the maximum processors that your computer has and then uncheck this option so from now on it will be utilizing the maximum number of processors inside your computer and just click on ok and uh, click on apply and click on ok and it will give you a prompt to restart please restart even after doing these steps, if the performance of your PC is still slow, I would recommend resetting the PC. This is one of the best options available right within Windows. Uh, all you have to do is click on start, go to settings, click on update and security, and over here on the left hand side, click on recovery. And over here, you have two options. One is reset this PC, one is advanced startup. So just click on reset this PC and click on get started. And over here, uh, it will give you two options. Keep my files and remove everything. Uh, so I would recommend uh, using this option. Um, keep my files and it will start up the process and it will uh, give you two options. You can either do a cloud download or you can do a local reinstall. 
um, so it's completely up to you I would recommend uh, clicking on the cloud down and then just follow the prompts and uh, it will take some time uh, to complete this process and uh, but once it is done your computer will be set to default settings and you will notice a significant improvement in the performance of your PC if you found these tips helpful please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell notifications icon for instant notifications all right thank you for watching have a great day guys